Good afternoon, real estate fans. It's Alice Lima, broker John L. Scott, Southern Oregon again, here with my latest Alice's analysis. And today we're talking about downsizing, and actually we're not gonna call it downsizing anymore. We're gonna call it right sizing. Because here's the deal. Um, nobody likes this idea of getting rid of all of our stuff, getting rid of our beautiful yard, whatever that looks like. Um, but we wanna be realistic and practical about the next stage of our life. So for some of us, downsizing means we're going to a 3,000 square foot house on a uh, half acre because we're coming from a huge ranch. We're used to having 50 acres. We're used to having a 5,000 square foot house. So it's really in your mind what it looks like to you. So somebody like me, um, I could live in an 800 square foot house super easy. I would want to be close to shopping. I would want to walk to the um, to the pharmacy, walk to get my groceries, um, maybe walk to a couple of pubs. So for me, that would make my heart happy. So everybody's different. And then the other thing to think about is who's going to take care of you. Some of us are going to go into assisted living because that's what we choose. Some of us might, you know, have medical reasons, have a plan for that. You know, you might not want to do that, but um, you can have your plan A and then if you need extra help, then have a plan B. And if you set this up ahead of time your friends and family don't have to. There's also things like medical directives and um, financial directives. Who's going to take care of you if something happens and you don't die? So don't mean to sound like the Grim Reaper but we just want to have like a little list of things to address so that we're prepared and then we can just go off and enjoy our golden years. Single story, absolute favorite of mine. I recommend it constantly. If you are going to get a multi-story, please, please make sure you have a main floor master and possibly a second room so that there can be a helper or a caretaker. Um, a lot of houses have elevators or um, uh, the chairlifts. Those are great, the acorn chairlifts. Um, so those are actually ways of staying in the house you have so you don't have to move. If, if it's really important to you that you stay in the neighborhood you're in, stay in the actual house you're in, then just make it safe and uh, don't trust those stairs. Even, even younger people fall, so we don't want that to happen. Um, and really think about how you want to spend your time. This is the part people sometimes skip over. They just want to get a house and get on with their life, but it's important to take some time with your loved ones and discuss the big picture. What's this gonna look like? What have you always wanted to do so that this last go, because this really is a last go, we're talking about your golden years here, so that this last go is uh, really satisfying and you're doing what you wanna do with your time with the people you wanna do it with. So the house is a part of that, but um, it's not the end all. So here's the, here's the short list. Think about what you want your life goals to be. Think about how you want to spend your time and let the house help you with that. Um, some people are going to have a house and a cottage so that that's where their caretaker stays or, or maybe they stay in the cottage and their adult children stay in the big house and they help them through the end. Some people are going to go to assisted living by choice or maybe because they have to and that's not a bad thing. Southern Oregon has a variety of amazing facilities. Everything from retirement communities that are just wonderful, great bacon, great activities, they even do dances. It's just wonderful community living, all the way up to almost hospital-like care, if that's what you need. So spend some time, think about what you want your golden years to look like. Um, have some conversations with your loved ones so that everybody's included. And then really find the property that fulfills that. And don't think of it as downsizing. You're not losing anything, you're gaining a whole nother section of your life. It's called right sizing. Okay, this is Alice Lima, John L. Scott. I'm a broker in Southern Oregon. My number is 541-301-7980. Give me a thumbs up, give me some comments. I wanna know if this was helpful. And as always, I'm available if you've got some questions, some comments, you need some help with something, I always have an opinion. Talk to you later, real estate fans. Have a good one.